In today's video, we're opening a massive Yu-Gi-Oh collection that will be for sale. What's up guys, we're back with another collection opening. In this video, we have another consignment that was sent to me by a viewer. But before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, Double Spell First Edition from Magician's Force. We have a First Ed, Mystical Knight of Jackal, and an Unlimited Last Word from Another Planet, Original Print from Labyrinth of Nightmare. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card you see in this video. We should have some pretty nice stuff. All right, so this is gonna be an interesting one because I have done some stuff for this guy before, but he just sent me this without really, he told me, hey, Hey, I sent you stuff. Like I didn't say, oh, go ahead and send it. You just sent it. And a lot of this stuff is like singles, which I don't really do singles for consignment unless they're high end. Cause if they're low end, you know, a $1 card, you take like a percentage of a $1 card. It's like kind of a lot of work for like 20, 10 cents, whatever it's going to end up being. So not usually worth it. So I'm probably not going to be selling these, a lot of these single cards, but we are going to go through see if there's any high value ones that I would do. Cause I have a plenty of $1 cards. I don't really need any more of those to sell. You know what I mean? So this looks like Pokemon. Interesting. I didn't, wasn't expecting that. Shuckle. I don't know. This stuff looks like it's okay. That's actually pretty old. Oh, that's Neo Genesis, I believe, with the double star. I think that's Neo Genesis. Oh, that is uh, what's the what's this e-reader e at the uh, EX era? I guess uh, we have uh, Unseen Force. This is actually really old stuff. I don't a shuckle. Is this a shuckle collection? What is going on here? I mean, I do appreciate some good Pokemon cards. We'll have to see. I don't really know what this kind of stuff goes for in the older stuff. This one seems a little bit newer. It seems like is this like every shuckle ever made or something? Or Peko? I I don't think Shuckle probably got very high end cards. There's more Shuckles. Whoa, he got, he did get a high end card. I was proven wrong immediately. There's an ultra rare, um, more cool full art stuff. So there's the English versions. Shuckle, shuckle, man, it's a shuckle fan right here. I'll have to check on some of these prices and see like what they're going for, but I'm probably not gonna be, a lot of this stuff, you can reach out for the high end stuff and ask if I'm selling it because I will be selling some of that. That's an old school rainbow energy. But a lot of it will probably, or maybe it wasn't actually, maybe it was just a reprint. A lot of it will probably not be, I'll probably go back to him just because I just don't have time to sell um, the lower end stuff as well. So we'll look at what we can actually keep. There's Pikachu from Jungle, pretty cool. Some nice stuff here, but uh, it's also Pokemon. So it's not really necessarily my lane in terms of cards because I do a lot of Pokemon. It's just not really the hard stuff. So we do like Pokemon challenge stuff, not necessarily card stuff. All right, this next one has some Yu-Gi-Oh in it. We've got a Seize Encore. That's a pretty decent card these days. Uh, Ultimate Rare Crush card. That's pretty good. Okay, Ghost Rare. Here's where they get to some good stuff. Here's some good cards. This is something more that I would be more likely to purchase versus like consign because I purchase at a lower rate than I can sign. Like if I can sign it for you, I'm only going to take like 20, 15%, something like that. Versus if I buy it, it's going to be like 65%. So it's going to be a lot lower. Oh, this actually, this is really cool. That is really nice. Uh, okay, for, not nice condition, but this is the weird, you guys remember we did that pro, the weird tactical evolution opening? This is the weird version of the Gemini Elf. And look, it has the train tracks, the identifier. Oh, that's so cool. So that's actually really cool. I mean, very horrible condition, but it came out of the pack like that. Well, it came out in bad condition. It's probably worse now, but that's actually pretty nice. You can tell just it's like darker, pretty cool stuff. So Pot of Greed First Dead, Pot of Desires, pretty nice stuff. Maybe I'll actually just look into buying some of this stuff from him. We'll have to see, or I can send it back depending on what he wants to do. Neo Galaxy has spoke on Ultimate Rare First Dead, pretty cool. These are good, I mean, these are good cards. There's nothing like bad here. Okay, we're looking at Wing Dragon with the uh, Wing Dragon Raw Sphere mode, beautiful. This is solid stuff, grass looks greener, banned now. We'll have to see what we can do. Skill Drain here, definitely some solid cards, but not like crazy high. Cosmic Cyclones are nice. We have the Karakuri, Forbidden Lance, Pro Prohibition, Shooting Star, we got Ash Blossom. Gamma Seal Nibiru. This is definitely something that I would be okay with picking up because there's a little bit more margin to it when you buy it up front than when you can sign it. Um, but it's also, you know, very, very uh, time consuming either way. Cause like when you buy a collection like this, you gotta go through all the little cards, which I usually do. So, you know, take a lot of time to do that, but it does take up a lot of time. So I'd, you know, you'd rather buy it up front probably, you know, buy a $5 card, you make a a dollar fifty on it versus only making like a dollar you know so it's a little bit better all right we're visiting a few more pokemon cards here dratini one of my favorites the best out there b drilled nidorans metapods i've searched about chelsea here look for some squishes ponyta as she would call the cute pokemon ghastly and abra that's where's the gengar gengar one of the best pokemon ever made with the current uh well at the time of recording this they have the ghost event going on or the halloween event so you can catch some stuff in pokemon go 
Um, let's see, I have a perfect Gengar, so I've been working on that thing, powering it up. Very nice. We have Japanese. Okay, this is, I'm totally out of my element with the Japanese Pokemon. I don't know much about that at all. Uh, Vanity Zempin is cool. We're back to Yu Gi Oh! These are, look like bulk hollows, bulk rares. Uh, Dryden used to be good, but I think it's still banned. Snow is a good card. That got re banned. So this is like the bulk box, it looks like. Mirage and Nightmare. That's a pretty cool old school card. Kaiser Coliseum. People love that card. Okay, we got one more little box here of singles. There are some graded cards, which we are probably definitely going to be for sale. So keep that in mind. There's an ultimate rare Hard Earth. Jester Confit used to be like a $12 super. I don't know if it still is. Fusion Devour Ultis from Stan. That's pretty cool. Ash Blossoms Banisher. Breaker, come on, slide, slide, Constellar, we got World Legacy, Dino Rust and Tops, Heroes of Revenge Secret Rare is really cool. Heat Wave, Santa Claus, we got the another breaker. Okay, more cool stuff. What else we got? We have Exodia left arm only. Just his left arm. Uh two of them actually. He has two left arms. Poor Exodia. Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Cut up a couple pot of greeds. Lancia 93. Constellar Omega into the void. Horseful Sentry, Chain Burst, Dimension, we got Judgment of Anubis, uh, Super Polys, and then a pack of Energies, interesting. There's also another box, but it appeared to be more like that kind of stuff. Let's just get to the actually graded stuff, because that's what you guys actually want to see, because you could potentially purchase this. All right, we got the cards. Uh, as I said, he just sent them to me, like, he was like, hey, I sent you these cards, so I don't know what these are, so we'll just see what they are. Uh, a Left Leg, Lost Art, that's a PSA 8, so unfortunate grade there, but uh, those are really hard to grade. There's an 8. These are really hard to grade, the Lost Arts. They do not get 10s very often. Uh, 7, as you can see. This was probably right out of the promo pack. 7. Let's see if he grade the other Exodia pieces. He didn't. That's a 6. Oh my gosh. He got destroyed on some of these. A 7. Okay, we're looking at low low grade. A 7. We have a 7. All right. Anything above a 7 right there? We got another Beret. So far, he's gotten railed on these. That's a 6. I figured maybe these are the ones, like the, the lower end ones that he got. Shiba, Warrior, Teo. We have Jinzo. And that's a pretty cool anniversary pack. Anything above a seven? Are these in order? Buster Blader. Wow. I wonder if he opened one of these and got this. An eight on the Gyakuteno Megami. There we go. An eight on the Celtic Guardian. We're going up. Maybe these are in order. Uh, an eight on the Summoned Skull. That's pretty nice. A seven on the red eyes. Never mind. We're back. Uh, nice card. We have a seven on the blue eyes. Unfortunate for sure. And Dark Magician. Okay, from SYE. Unfortunately, this is a very cheap card. Ten would actually probably be worth a little bit because those are probably pretty hard to find in good condition. Everyone had one in their old school, you know, collections and they're worth like 50 cents. But if you grade a 10, I bet that's pretty decent. Okay, there's some good cards in there. Let's see what this second half is. If they are, they're kind of low end. I mean, the anniversary pack's pretty cool. But let's see if there's anything high end right here okay we have a ooh, ancient gear golem that is a not the ulti because that'd be pretty crazy this is the ultra psa 9 that's a psa 9 first one of the video that's not bad let's see what the next card is the rocket warrior from the 10 that's a psa 8 unfortunately not super uh high end there either let's see are there any high end cards in this entire video let's find out uh, Guilford the Lightning. We did have one Ghost Rare, but it was a Bujente, so it's like not that crazy. What else is here? We have Skull Dice 7. Okay. Oh, man, they're killing these. They're killing some of these cards. We've got a Magician Circle. This is actually an interesting one. The uh, Noble Knights of the Round Table, right? Is that what this is from? No, it's from a game. Nightmare Troubadour. Nightmare something. I don't know what this is. The NTR made me think Noble Knights of the Round Table, but it's not because that would be Platinum, I think. Silent Magician, also from the nightmare troubadour g game like look how they just mush it together like how am i supposed to know what that says unless you know the game you don't know okay then we have silent magician so it looks like these three come together that's a pretty cool game actually because silent magicians are kind of awesome level four and level six then there is a teva capsule monster Coliseum. that's a beautiful card what capsule monster Coliseum? these are some weird promos that you don't see very often so that's actually kind of unique uh more capsule i do i have seen the inferno hammer around a little bit the CMC game promo. They're not, they don't sh like scream game promo as much as like the old school ones where there was like super shiny, like secret rare. But you can kind of tell when you look at them based on the card stock. Abyss Soldier. Here's the big one on the Capsule Monster Coliseum. It's a very good in GOAT format. This is a really nice printing of it. Okay. Oh, and there, see that one screams game promo. You see this, you're like, that is a game promo right there. That is beautiful. Gamma the Magnet Warrior. Pretty awesome. Uh, beta, seven. No tens here. So those are both sevens. 
Alpha got a nine. So two sevens and a nine. He's got four more cards. He's got a Ring of Destruction. That's a PSA eight. A seven on his on his arm. That's unfortunate. I guess this is going to be the rest of Exodia. An eight on the Lost Art. Yeah, nothing has been a nine for the Lost Art yet. And the last card here that, well, there is there's some more, but let's see. We have an Exodia. That got a nine. <laughs> the Exodia got a nine. That's actually pretty awesome. Interesting consignment. I don't even know if necessarily I'm going to be end up selling this because it's a lot of low end. I'm going to have to like discuss with him what we're going to do with this. But either way, I wanted this to be a video so that if you are considering like sending me something, keep in mind I'm accepting like high end stuff more often. And high end just means like 50 plus dollars, like not like crazy high end, but a lot of like $5 cards is going to be a lot tougher for me. That'll be more something I may purchase. But even nowadays, I have so many of those cards like laying around. It's really hard for me to like buy more and like you know, because I'm getting overrun by $5 and less cards. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. And we'll be opening up more packs very soon. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Dax Search, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ Liu, Gwen 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.